Welcome in the zone when the Washington DC Sports Show is bringing you all the latest in local sports news. We're broadcasting here from the Crystal City Sports Pub in Arlington, Virginia. I'm your host, James Flames, sitting here with the most unbiased sports analyst, extraordinaire, Mr. Entourage, Mr. Vincent Chase <laughs> himself, Jason Herbeck. Thanks, so, Turtle. You know, well, why gotta be Turtle, man? That's messed up, man. Why gotta be it's Turtle? better than drama. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Turtle, Turtle's coming to flunk you. Turtle doesn't have a job, man. Well, he's the driver. I can't be the driver. I mean, I don't want to be the driver, man. Signing rappers. He had the chauffeur business going on with the model chicks. You're listen, all right. Listen, man. Turtle doesn't have a life. And I'm James Flames, <laughs> and I have a life. Well, let's get ahead and get started today. Today, we are covering some NFL. Okay. We're going to be covering some NBA, and we have a very special guest who's going to be joining us later on today, Mr. Rocky from 106 and 7 The Fans, Kevin Rock Show. I have a feeling this is going to be an instant classic, yeah. right off the. Top. Of course, it always is. Yeah, and Jason's wearing his George Mason shirt. Represent. Represent. So we're going to start out right there today with the national extravaganza, only way to cover it, March Madness. Now, Jason, before, I, before we get started in the March Madness, before we get started in any of these storylines, let me just say this. I have to apologize a little bit because the last show, I got into you a little bit, okay? I said George Mason was really no uh, Maryland, okay? No Maryland. And, uh, your boys made the tournament. Yeah, My Maryland, but Maryland made the NIT, right? Oh, no, no, they didn't get invited to NIT either. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't make the NIT, but, you know, that's kind of a political thing. That's kind of a political thing, so it didn't get there. And, I think uh, it's more of a basketball thing. <laughs> Whatever, I can take that. Okay, you got your shot in already, Jason. But your boys are serving well in the uh, tournament, so we'll give you that. I mean, I'll give you that. I'll Thank give you. you that. Thank you. Okay, good. Well, let's go ahead and talk about a couple storylines that are going on. Right off the top, who do you have in your final four? I got Kentucky, BYU, Kansas, and Duke. Okay. What about you? That's not bad. That's not bad, Herbie. That's not bad. Now, I have Duke, okay, Ohio State, Kansas, and Florida. Yes, I know Miss Gina G will be happy about that. I got Florida in the uh, Final Four. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, so what I want to know is who do you think is going to win? Right off, got, right off the top. I got Duke just simply because. Playing who? I got Duke playing Kansas. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Because I think I think Duke has it because the addition of uh, Kyrie Irving again mm -hmm. coming back at the end of the year, he was playing so well in the beginning of the year. People were talking about them running the table until okay. they got hurt mm -hmm. eight games in. So he's coming in, coming off the bench. I mean, to have a player like that coming off your bench when you're already a solid team, you're already trying to repeat as a national champion, they're the team to beat, I think. I, I'll differ with you there. I have Ohio State winning it. And that's only because I think Jared Sullinger is a freshman, good player, gets down low, does the dirty work. Okay, nobody else really has that. And I think Duke, I'm a Maryland guy, so you know I'm already against Mike Karuski and his boys. <laughs> but I believe that they're just a tough team. They're just a tough out this year. And Duke is always a tough out. Okay, Nolan Smith and those boys, they always, and they always get the calls. I'm a Maryland guy, so I know how that goes. Oh, yeah. They always get the call. But I think Ohio State, this is going to be their year. Greg Oden couldn't get it done, but I think Sellinger and these boys are going to get it done. Hopefully, future Washington Wizard, Jared Sellinger. Very interesting, Jason. Very interesting you mentioned the Wizards. <laughs> so let's go right ahead to the second topic, the Wizards. All right, they made some trades. Do you think this helps the team at all? I think we got to wait until after the draft mm -hmm. and after this offseason to see if the trades work. I don't want to wait, look, Jason. Does look, it help it? Look, it's better, definitely better to get rid of Arenas, okay? Okay. But my problem is, before the season, Orlando was offering Vince Carter and his expiring contract this year for Arenas. And 
Instead, Ernie waited and got Rashard Lewis, who has two years left on his deal. Yeah. Heinrich trade is okay. You got Jordan Crawford, who dunked over LeBron and got the tape confiscated, <laughs> so I love that dude already. Right. Uh, and they got a first round pick, but it's kind of a weak draft. Atlanta's going to be a playoff team, so I don't know how much that draft pick's going to matter unless, mm -hmm. unless they try and uh, compile them and try and move up in the first round, depending yeah. on what pick they get in the lottery. I, I mean, I think with John Wall and the rookies, it gives us a glimmer of hope. It gives us slight hope that maybe they're going to turn around in the right direction, right? However, one road win all season, that ain't good. It's ugly. That ain't, that ain't good. It's I will, ugly. Yeah, and just to just show you what a stand-up guy I am, I'm going to take this hit, okay? I said the I said they may make the eight seed playoff. They, no, 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 no. It wasn't but, they may make the eight seed. It was <laughs> on the record the Wizards are going to make the playoffs. That's what it was. That's what it was? Don't get it twisted now. I mean, that's good that you're admitting that. But I may have said something of that sort, Jason. Okay, Either way, though, Grunfeld needs to be fired. Gone. You don't like Ernie. What's up with that, man? Come on, man. What has he done since he stole Karan Butler from the Lakers for Kwame Brown? Name one good move he's done since then. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get it. Well, I'll tell you what, man. We're going to talk about DC sports teams a little later when Rocky comes on. So, say, hold your thoughts I'll, there. I'll hold it. I'll okay. Hold it. <laughs> really quick. Cam Newton, do you think he's going to be the number one pick in the NFL draft? I don't, th I don't think Carolina will take him. Mm -hmm. I think if some team is really sweating Cam Newton, mm -hmm. then they'll trade with Carolina. Okay. Um, but I think he'll go, you either got Buffalo at three, Cincinnati at four, Arizona five, Tennessee eight. All those teams are going to want a quarterback. Mm -hmm. Plus, you got your Redskins at 10 if they decide to move up and try and get them. Yeah, I agree with you. The Panthers, Cardinals, Titans, and Redskins all could be in the – they could be in the, in the mix for a quarterback. I don't, I, think he, think, I don't think he's going to fall to the Redskins. No, no, I don't think he will either. But I think the Panthers, they got so many holes. As much as they probably hate to admit it, they already invested in Clawson last year. You know, so yeah, they got yeah. a young quarterback. They're gonna, I feel like if they are if they can get value from that pick, they are going to trade. Okay. And last point here, staying with the NFL, the draft, the NFL labor agreement. The union does not want the rookies to go to the draft. Really quick, what's your thoughts? That's ridiculous. They're, they're, they're robbing those kids of a moment in time that they'll never be able to get back. All the guys that are in the league already had that moment. I think it's ridiculous. They're not part of the union yet. Let them go to the draft. I think as long I think you're right. It's criminal. But if you create a ceremony, okay, for them, all right? Now, peep, peep this out, Jason, really quick. A ceremony that's an experience unlike any other, okay? You could, I mean, if, if I'm a rookie and I go and you have maybe Peyton Manning, Drew Brees on stage with you, what, you know, a couple of your heroes, you know, Joe Montana is there, kind of create a whole different spirit. I mean, you could have Kim Kardashian as the hostess. You could have well, a that changes everything. Well, well there you man. go. You have Deion Sanders after party, you know, Favre's back there passing out drink. Ocho Cinco could be film, filming the whole thing. I'm telling you, man, it could be an experience unlike any other. I'd buy it, especially you throw Kim in. You sold me with Kim Kardashian. I'm sorry, I sold, I sold you with Kim Kardashian. I sold you with Kim Kardashian. Well, it's time for a break, okay? When we come back, we're going to be joined by my main man, one of six and seven fans from the Kevin Rock Show, Rocky. And this is going to be, this is going to be classic, man. Yeah, man. This is going to be classic. Yeah, keep it locked right here. You're watching in the zone. See ya. Yep. Tell me, man.